Hi guys, it's Kaylee and Duncan here. Um, sorry that the words that I'm saying right now don't match up with my voice. Um, but yeah, my audio didn't switch over. So anyways, today we're going to be talking about a jumping position. And a jumping position is basically you getting off of your horse's back so that they can round and jump properly and they can get um, their legs up and get that tuck that everybody's looking for. So um, basically in a jumping position, you always want to start with a straight line from your heels to your hips to your shoulders, just like basic equitation. You always want to have that straight line and you want your leg next to the girth. Now when you do go to two point, you don't want your leg to move from the girth. You want your lower leg to stay in the same position. You only want your butt to come up. Now you only want like an inch to come up. You don't need to go straight up in the air. It's more of a forward movement and you want your hands to rest on the nape of their neck and your elbows to be bent and you want your thumbs up. You also don't want your back to be counter flexed um, either direction. You want it to be nice and flat. So you want to just look nice and pretty and put together and um, that's basically what jumping is all about is looking pretty. So um, it's also effective to stay off your horse's back though. So you really want to make sure your heels are down and that your leg is nice and tight and that you're doing everything correctly. All right, so as you can see, I'm in the jumping position right now. Um, I am going to go over the pole, and I stay completely still the entire time. You don't want to move your body around or change your position. He'll change his stride for it, so you just want to keep strong in the jumping position. Now, as you can see here, I'm more straight up and down where I should be more forward on his neck, and if you look at my elbows, they're really out. I'm really not bringing them by my side. They're really in like that, they're flying around by themselves. So um, as you see, I'm more, I, I'm not really in a correct jumping position right now. I need to be more forward on his neck, but for just groundwork, this is okay. For jumping, it's not, you need to be more. Now this on the other hand is correct jumping position. You can see how my um, hips are still straight from my leg to my hip, but I my body's moved forward more. And um, my arms are still kind of, my arms are still out, they're not by my side, which they should be, but this is more correct. You can see my body positioning is way better in this one. Okay, so just as important as your beginning um, jumping point is when you land. Um, you actually have to land in a position where you're not going to fall at all. So, um, what you would do is you're already in an upward position like this, and if you stay in that position when you land, you're going to be coming down like you're facing the ground and your legs are going to come up behind you. So what you want to do is you want to, when you're going over the jump, you want to, when you start coming down and descending, you want to sit your body back and put your heels down. You don't want to move your entire leg forward because that's going to make you, that's going to throw you off even more and possibly your horse um, because when you put your leg forward, you stop usually. So you basically just want to do what I'm doing right now. You just want to sit back slowly. You don't want your leg to move. You only want your seat to be moving. You want everything nice and still. You don't want to be dramatic about it. You just want to start up and then come down. You don't want to bring your heels way forward like I'm going to do right there. You don't want to bring them forward like that. You just want to come down nice and slow. And make sure to keep your lower leg nice and tight on the horse as well. 